Good morning. Good. I did it. I corrected Bonnie a little a few minutes ago. Good afternoon, everyone. It's wonderful to have you all here for this special service. And it's wonderful for us to be able to gather to do a little bit of singing. I want to thank uh, Bonnie and all the crew that worked very hard to make sure we could sit here safely. So we have a very different looking choir arrangement, but thank you, choir, for being here. And thank you uh, to all the folks who are watching uh, now, or some will be watching on YouTube, uh, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, and for donating to the Memorial Celebration Hymn Sing. It's, uh, it's a great opportunity in so many ways to gather, to raise a few funds, to raise up those who have gone before us. That's most of the of the uh, people's names who we'll hear and that you've been reading in the bulletin. They're the ones uh, that have come before us, dealt with the issues, done the fundraising, kept the buildings over our heads in whatever congregation you're in. And so it's a lovely thing to pay tribute to all of them. Aletha, can I ask you to light our candle since our candle migrated with our change of seating? And as... Aletha lights our usual Sunday morning candle, our uh, greeting. You can move the candle if you like. Oh, just give me a second. Yep. <laughs> We're not going anywhere. We'll wait for you. Oh, it's, it's not working too good. If you, I think if you tip the big candle, you might. There you go. I think then you'll get it. You know, this little candle that sometimes gives us a little struggle to light is a symbol of that great light of the divine. <laughs> so sometimes it's a little hard for us to get it going, but it's a symbol of something much greater and much more present with us. And so may that light that shone so brightly in Jesus' life shine brightly in all of yours. And also in yours. Thank you. Our format as we go is going to be few words, but... Uh, some quotes, and I've pulled out a few quotes from the United Church's most recent statement of faith, which is called A Song of Faith. So you'll see there the first one. We offer worship as an outpouring of gratitude and awe and a practice of opening ourselves to God's still, small voice of comfort, to God's rushing whirlwind of challenge. May that be for us today as we gather here together. May it be for you folks who are listening at home throughout the week whenever you might. We're going to have someone recognize and read the names of the people that are being honored and celebrated and memorialized today. And then we will sing together. And the choir is going to sing two pieces for us on their own. And I'm sure it will be a wonderful afternoon. So Alita is going to lead us off with the names for Love Divine, All Loves Excelling. So Love Divine, All Loves Excelling, it's hymn 333. We sing of love in memory of Douglas Woodside from his wife Margaret Woodside and in celebration of all former church organists, and this is from Bonnie LaFrance. <laughs> Stand if you're comfortable. Love divine, our love's excelling. Fly above to earth, come down. Fix in us a humble dwelling. All thy faith, all mercy. 
mercy's crown. Jesus, thou art compassion, pure and bound in love, Lord. Visit us with thy is in the garden and we're going to sing this favorite in memory of joy or may you from melissa and rowan Kaisley, libby haney from harold haney and family edith woodside from fluff and burroughs mcphail gerald johnston from donald johnson and katherine mckenzie pauline service from brenda barb and bethany and families William and Hazel Doddard from Fred and Barbara and family. Morton and Ella Adams from Elizabeth Adams. William and Hazel Doddard from George and Catherine Doddard. Elmer and Elma Cotton from Janet Cotton. Norma McKenzie Painter and George Painter. Muriel Painter McRae and Norman McRae. Douglas Painter. Joan Painter Cole and Wesley Cole. Albert Stafford, Hugh Baglow, remembered by Brenda Painter Baglow, Rodney, and April Baglow. Libby Haney from ha Alex, Amanda, and the Haney family. Robert Haney from his wife, Louise. Jean and Don Baker from their daughter, Sharon Cole. Joan Thompson from Wendell, Marjorie Thompson, and Elaine and Marvin Corny, Edith and Roland Pickering, and David Pickering from Mary and Gordon Ramsay. Keith Silliker from Diane Silliker, Valerie Thompson from Don Thompson, and in memory and celebration of Hillard and Bonnie. Louise Bernard from Shauna Bernard. Oh, and this one's printed in the bulletin, right? Yes. Yeah. What a wonderful group that we have just gathered in around us. And we asked uh, folks to add a story uh, if they would like. And so we have a story about Valerie Thompson, uh, Don's wife. Uh, Don shared, Valerie was a member of Margate United Church for 20 years. She was a youth group leader for several years, served on the committee of stewards, and was involved in the UCW. So... A very solid United Church 
household there with the meetings that went on from all those groups between uh, she and Don. So let's sing together. We can hear you out here. Each part of creation reveals unique aspects of God the Creator, who is both in creation and beyond it. All parts of creation animate, animate and inanimate are related. All creation is good. We're going to hear singing about that when uh, we sing our next piece, How Great, Great Thou Art. But we had two stories shared with us. One from Glenn Thompson, who said his grandfather, Ralph Thompson, was raised and became a member of Margate United. Uh, Glenn says, he and my grandmother, Sadie, attended Long River Church all their married lives. And as a building contractor, he supervised the construction of the new London church in 1952. We also have a story from... Uh, in memory of Andrew and Anna Johnstone, it was sent to us by Alan, and he says, Anna and Andrew were lifelong members of the Long River Church, and both were faithful members of the choir. Oh, they would love this service today, wouldn't they? Andrew and Ernest Dunning sang, uh, sang many duets in churches throughout PEI. Practically no minister, guest speaker, or entertainer at Long River Church ever missed a meal and a hymn sing at Anna and Andrew's home. We sing in memory of those and many others. So How Great Thou Art is number 238, and we're singing this song of praise in memory of Hilda B. Mayhew uh, from Melissa and Rowan Kaisley, Ralph Woodside, from Betty Woodside, 
Anna and Andrew Johnston from Peter, Barb, Walker, and family. Robert Haney from Edith and Dean Cole. Marlene Thomas from Dave Thomas. Robert Haney from Gary and Janet Haney. Hillard Bernard, Helia, and Annie Peterson from Louise Bernard. Bruce Pickard from Francis Ramsey. Andrew and Anna Johnson from Alan, Heidi, Christy, and Carrie. Marion and Hillard Woodside from Valerie and Barry Woodside. Evelyn Warren from Wendell, Helen, and family. Ralph and Sadie Thompson from Glenn Thompson. And in memory and celebration of Hillard and Louise Bernard from Shauna Bernard. <laughs> I see the stars, I hear the mighty thunder, I come throughout the universe displayed, and sings my song.
to point to the presence of the holy in the world, the church receives, consecrates, and shares visible signs of the grace of God. We're going to sing of that amazing grace, but from that lovely list of people being lifted up, we have two stories. Mary and Melville Johnson wrote uh, in to dedicate a song, and Mary writes, We remember that our wedding, the 13th of August, 1960, was the second in the New London United Church. Also, Mary's father, Bert McKay, and stepmother, Amy, went to that church. Do you remember them, Janet? Yes, of course you do. Isn't that lovely? And then Maynard and Audrey uh, Simpson sent in uh, in recognition of uh, a few people. But one of the, the stories she told was that Maynard and I were married in 1958, October 25th, 62 years ago. It's the first wedding in the new London church. So we have the first and the second wedding people from the new London church picking the same hymn to honor people in their lives. So we will hear who those people are. (laughs) So Amazing Grace is number 266. We sing of this promise in memory of Vera Henderson and Harry Kaisley, from Francis Clifford, Stephen and Families, Nanny Joan Thompson, from Amanda, Sheldon, Oliver, and Felix Drummond, and Carrie Thompson, Beulah and Harold Mayhew, from Audrey and Maynard Simpson, Marjorie and Harry Rattray, from Fred and Barbara and Family, Ivan Pickering and Ruby Burgoyne, from Donald and Betty Pickering and Family, Scott Woodside, from Valerie, Merle Cole from Roger Lawrence Lisa and Families, Robert Haney from Edith and Dean Cole, Libby Haney from Alex, Amanda and the Haney family. This is also a favorite hymn of Francis Ramsey and in honor of Venid McKay from Mary and Melville Johnson.
To embody God's love in the world, the work of the church requires the ministry and discipleship of all believers. We're a lovely collection of those all believers today and online and in the great cloud of witnesses that you have been calling into our midst with our singing. The choir is going to sing, but we have one song, one uh, story to share. It's remembered by Don Thompson, and it's a memory about his grandparents. Um, his first name is pronounced Hiram. Hiram. Thank you, Hiram and Francis. Don writes after Hiram's father's death in 1890 he was elected to the Margate Board of Trustees to fill the vacancy where he pushed for and supported the motion to erect a new building in 1898, which is in use today. So people inheriting their roles. Isn't that interesting? Hiram and Francis had 11 children, ranging in ages from 18 months to 18 years, when she died of pneumonia. He raised his family as members of the church, while lending his bass voice to the choir for many years until his death in 1931. So the singing gene comes too. That's neat. (laughs) We're going to hear of other people who are remembered with this hymn. The hymn is I, the Lord of Sea and Sky, number 509. Hear this song of recommitment to our following in memory of Shirley Doucette from Jenna and Family, George and Hilda Mayhew from Molly and Donald Cook, Jim and Ruby Bernard from Shauna Bernard, Rinda Johnson from Alan, Heidi, Christa, Christy, Carrie and Families, Joan Thompson from Kevin and Sandra, Hiram and Francis Thompson from Don Thompson, Lee Ramsey, from Francis Ramsey. I will. 
will provide till their hearts be satisfied. I will give my life to them. Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? I have Well, our next hymn does not have a story attached to it, um, but we read from a song of faith, so filled with the Holy Spirit was Jesus, that in him people experienced the presence of God among them. We sing praise to God incarnate. And we're going to sing about the anchor that holds. And so you might reflect as we're singing on the anchor that holds fast for you these days. And Alan is now going to begin our sharing of who this is in honor of. The next hymn will your anchor hold, number 675. We sing this declaration of faith in memory of Marion and Edwin Bernard by Marcella Cormier, Donnie Doucette from Jenna and Family, Jim and Ruby Bernard from Doris Mose, William Cotton from Don Holmes and Family, Jenna Reeves and Family, Jim and Ruby Bernard from Stafford and Linda and Family, Wayne Adams from Elizabeth Adams, George Myers from Heather Myers, Heath and Marion Mayhew from Diane Silliker. When the strong tides lift and the cables stream, will your anchor drift or remain? We have anchor that keeps us all steadfast and sure while the billows roll. Fasten to the rock which cannot move, grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love. It will surely hold in the straits of fear When the breakers tell that the reef is near Though the tempest brave and the wild winds blow Not an angry wave shall our heart overflow We have anger that keeps us all Steadfast and sure while the billows roll Deep in the Savior's soul. It will surely hold in the floods of death When the waters cold chill our latest breath On the rising tide it can never fail For hopes abide within the veil Steadfast and sure while the billows roll Fasten to the rock which cannot move Grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love When our eyes behold through the gathering night The city of old, our harbor bright We shall anchor fast by the heavenly shore, 
response to who Jesus was and to all he did and taught, to his life, death, and resurrection, and to his continuing presence with us through the Spirit, we celebrate him as the Word made flesh. And of course, we celebrate that presence in so many different ways, and this is one of them gathering today. For our next hymn, Church in the Wildwood, we have two stories. One is a reminder that... Um, Ralph Howard, who is being remembered by David and Sandy Howard, was the treasurer of the Margate United Church for many years. And so, of course, we, I don't know, it seems we have an extra appreciation for those people who know how to handle our funds and be wise about it. So our thanks, certainly, for those who have come before in those, with those gifts. Also, Mary Kay Collick and uh, her siblings uh, have um, in memory here. But Mary Kay says, This was my family church where I grew up. Our family lived on the Thompson Road where Casely's live now, which is probably not where Casely's live now, right? But. Uh, Donna Diane. Uh, 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 oh, yes, true. Yes, still a Casely family, yes. We could all walk to church on Sunday mornings or evenings, summer and winter many memories. So lovely for those stories to come to us. And Alan will share with us these other folk who are being kept in memory. Next hymn is Church in the Wildwood and is it printed in your bulletin. We sing in memory of our parents, Alvin and Irene Bernard, G. Murray Mayu from Melissa and Rowan Kaisley, Elton and Elsie Woodside from Betty Woodside, George and Hilda Mayu by Mary K. Collette, Mary, Murray, Mona, Molly, and Melissa, Mary and E. Woodside by Audrey Simpson, Audrey Wright by Fluff Burroughs McPhail, Hillard Bernard by Doris Mose, William Cotton, by Susan and Kevin Simmons, Robert Haney, by Edison Haney, Hillard Bernard, by Stafford, Linda, and family, Robert Haney, by Douglas Haney, Reverend and Mrs. Allison Ramsey, by Francis Ramsey, Kenneth Haney, by Nancy Lynn James and family, Don and Jean Baker by Richard Baker and Lorraine Begley, James Cole by Roger Lawrence, Lisa and families, Ralph Howard by David and Sandy Howard. Thank you. 
Our next hymn is In the Bulb There is a Flower, number 703. We sing these beautiful images of life after life in memory of Shirley Johnstone by Heather Johnstone, William Cotton by Janet Cotton, Angela and Garth Pickering by Donald and Betty Pickering and family, Eric Mose by Gwyneth, in celebration of Bonnie LaFrance by Doris Mose and also Shauna Bernard, the people of Southwest River Church by Reverend Picks, number 703. also going to hear another piece from the choir, The Lord's My Shepherd, and this um, not really with a story except a note from, uh, you've noticed the Baker family has uh, been noted in a couple of these pieces, and uh, Donna Baker Fallon, who wrote, said, uh, just a reminder of this beautiful uh, window that was placed here 
in honor and memory of their baker relatives and heritage. Is that me doing that? Maybe it is. I will try to fix that before you hear from me again. Let us sing, listen to the choir sing. The choir's gift of song, The Lord's My Shepherd, number 747. We sing this old biblical poem in memory of Arthur and Elva Prophet by Doris Mose, Anna McLeod by Stafford, Linda, and family, Mr. and Mrs. Milton Pickard by Francis Ramsey, Don and Jean Baker by Donna Baker Fallon, deceased members of McKay and Haney families by Nancy McKay and family. As we continue to worship and to be together and to know that spirit presence in our midst, let us join our hearts in prayer. From the Song of Faith we read, God is holy mystery, beyond complete knowledge, above perfect description, yet in love the one eternal God seeks relationship. And we live out that relationship with our God through our relationships with one another. So whenever we pray together, we are firming up all those relationships. So let us pray together. Holy One, for all of these people representing so many different families in so many different places today, we give thanks for lives lived in faithful service to you, in right relationship with one another. We give thanks for all the work and gifts and time and talents and prayers that all of those people represent before some of us were even here. And so we give thanks for them all and their ministries. 
And we give thanks for all of the people today, those here, those watching, those who are thinking about this service happening. May we be followers as well. May we be those ones giving service and care and attention to each other and offering our gifts to your ministries in this place. We pray, Holy One, today with much gratitude, leaning into your spirit as we continue our journeys together. Amen. Amen. Just before we go to our final hymn, I would just like to uh, make a couple of announcements because many of our folk are watching from uh, online. And so just want to remind people that next Sunday is a joint service for the pastoral charge and it will be at Princetown United at 11 o'clock. Um, if you haven't reserved a seat, please call. Uh, seats are getting uh, few because we're all trying to gather in the same place. Also want to note that the Southwest River United Church women are meeting on Tuesday evening at 7.30 here. And also I've been announcing the uh, Camp Abbey close-up time as uh, this Saturday, and that was just changed recently to the following Saturday on the 30th. So I know there are people uh, who are planning to go, so that's been changed to the 30th. I think that's enough announcements in the midst of our lovely singing. We're going to end with a rather interesting piece, chosen by our choir director, of course. And uh, so, you know, when we all gather on Christmas Eve and we sing that lovely piece, Silent Night, and if you're lucky enough to go outside the church door and there's just a little bit of snow in the air, I think that's the holiness and the great mystery that feeling that comes over us at that time. So thank you, Bonnie, for bringing a little speck of that in with us, and we'll hear who Silent Night is being uh, uh, remembered by. The final hymn will be Silent Night, of course, and it's number 67. In memory of Chad Cook by Melissa and Rowan Kaisley, David Haney by Harold May Haney and family, and Hillard Bernard by Bonnie LaFrance.
As we take our leave from each other today, we have words printed in the bulletin that we can share as a blessing as we go. Again, these words are from a song of faith. So let's say these to each other. The fullness of life includes moments of unexpected inspiration and courage lived out. Experiences of beauty, truth, and goodness. Blessings of seeds and harvest. Friendship and family. May all of those blessings be ours this day. Thank you again to Aletha and to Alan for sharing all of those uh, precious names and bringing them into our great cloud of witnesses here. To Bonnie and all the choir members. And to all of you for coming and persevering through uh, what we have to live with these days. We appreciate you coming. Blessings as we go. And on behalf of the choir and myself and the congregation, I'd like to thank Reverend Picks for getting us going on this fundraiser, and it's a lovely service. Thank you, Picks.